Welcome to the first season of FDT Videos. In this season, you'll discover short episodes that will help you become acquainted with the FDT technology standard for industrial device management in the process, discrete, and hybrid manufacturing applications. Today, we will be exploring what is FDT technology, including its use cases, components, and an analogy to wrap it all up. Look for future episodes covering topics like what is a DTM, what is the FDT desktop, and what is the FDT server. Let's start with an overview. The FDT group organization oversees the development and proliferation of the FDT technology standard driven by user feedback. FDT supports use cases focused on universal device management independent of the protocol, system, device type, data model, or the industry. Because the solution is software-based, system and device vendors deploy the standard in their engineering systems and device environments, enabling a truly unified environment for industrial device management. Today, FDT is globally adopted and deployed in process, discrete, and hybrid applications. FDT is internationally recognized as an IEC 62453 standard, and in addition to an ANSI ISA 103 standard in North America, and as a GBT 29618 standard in China. Users enjoy the benefits of using FDT enabled devices and systems. Currently, tens of millions of DTMs are deployed and used by FDT enabled host environments. You might actually be using the standard without even knowing it. FDT has become the de facto standard over the last 20 years tackling use case challenges focused on simplifying lifecycle management and data consistency. From design to configuration, to operation, to diagnostics and maintenance, and replacement, FDT technology is working around the clock to harmonize industrial device management, allowing users a single environment to monitor, maintain, and manage all the connected assets. All the while, users enjoy data consistency, engineering, asset management, and service tools along with centralized data management and security. The solution provides one consistent way for industrial device management and maintenance, eliminating the need for proprietary tools, handhelds, and other one-off tools, dramatically reducing training efforts. Let's talk about the two components that make all of this possible. FDT is comprised of two must-have components that include the FDT host or FDT-enabled system application and an FDT DTM, also known as a device type manager. An FDT host is provided by the system vendor and can be a standalone FDT desktop environment mostly used for point-to-point -point applications, or an FDT server that can be embedded in higher level distributed control environments, such as DCS or distributed control systems, programmable logic controllers, and asset management solutions. There are two broad types of DTMs. A device DTM is a driver for an intelligent sensor-based device. The DTM is provided by the device vendor that can best represent all the functions, features, and customizations for simple and complex devices. Devices such as flow meters, pressure, and temperature sensors, VFDs, and others are just a few examples. A communication DTM standardizes the communication channel that the sensors and the actuators connect to. Think of a DTM as a driver for a printer, mouse, or keyboard. By installing the driver, applications on the computer have access to the capabilities, the functions, and the features 
of that added device. This is a similar concept to a DTM within a desktop or server environment. The device DTM gives you access to the functions and features in any of the connected devices. The DTM interacts with the FDT host application that accesses and interprets the information from the devices and provides full device management functionality of all the connected devices. Here is an example of an FDT host, in this case, a desktop environment recognized as Pactware. Pactware is a free device configuration environment for users. In this example, you will see the orange outlined area that details the FDT desktop environment that provides the interface and device management environment. The yellow outlined area details out the device interface with features and functions provided by the DTM. Users can install any device DTM supported by any protocol from any vendor into the FDT desktop environment, providing one project view and a single approach to industrial device management. An open, flexible, and scalable standard supporting process and discrete applications in brownfield and greenfield environments. Today, the standard supports over 17 protocols and platforms and because FDT was designed as a network agnostic platform, the standard remains open to support any communication protocol or network, including new industrial Ethernet protocols for end-to-end -end integration, all the while supporting transparent tunneling through mixed topology architectures. DT is an important integration standard and device management standard in the industry. Whether you are a vendor, end user, or service provider, join the FDT group community by becoming a member in support of harmonizing system integration with IT, OT, data-driven operations for industrial device management and lifecycle optimization across process, hybrid, and discrete applications. By leveraging FDT licenses and developer tools for research and development, your FDT compliance system, device, and service solution will gain a faster time to market. As a member of the FDT group, you can directly impact the direction of the FDT technology through leadership positions, working groups, and marketing programs. Hope you gained an understanding of the FDT technology standard. Stay tuned for the next episodes in this series about things like what is a DTM, what is the desktop, and what is a server. They're all coming soon.